right, so this is our group presentation. Our name is Financial Compass. We're a consulting firm. And our client today is the Financial Aid Office. And I'd like to introduce my team members. I'm Matthew Nickerson. David. I'm Margaret Edwards. You here, Floyd. I'm Phil Flowers. And we have a motto today, and that is, don't be a sucker, use financial aid. <laughs> so that was kind of the kind of, we have some gifts for you guys. Right, we are my lollipops. Lollipops for everyone. So I want to ask a personal question, and that personal question is how many people in here are currently using some sort of financial aid, scholarships? Pell Grants, funds of that nature? We get a show of hands. All right. And do we have any opinions on these? Uh, do you have any concerns uh, dealing with the financial aid office? Or it takes a very long time. It takes a very long time. Does anybody else have anything? Is there any concerns or anything positive? Have you gotten some type of scholarship and it's come through OK? Can I hear any other feedback? It's a little complicated. It can be complicated sometimes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. It was fast for you? Okay. If there's an issue, you take a long time for the issue to be resolved. So you've had issues with it as well? Everything we do. Okay. <laughs> so, what we're going to talk about is, for some people who don't really know much about financial aid, we're going to enlighten you with this fashion. So you go into college or career school. Maybe you started saving money. Maybe you'll discover some buried treasure. But more likely, you'll need another plan. So if paying for college is going to fall on your shoulders, the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Federal Student Aid is the best place to turn for assistance. I bet you didn't know that we're the largest provider of grants, loans, and work-study funds, all of which are easy to apply for. And when it is time to apply for aid, head to your favorite spot to complete the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA. Each January, a new FAFSA is available for the upcoming school year, and completing it is free when you go to the official site, fafsa.gov. Your selected colleges will use the information on your FAFSA to figure out how much aid you get, so make sure your info is accurate. But if you need to, you can go back and make some changes. If you get a grant or a work-study job, congrats, you won't have to pay the money back. However, a federal loan is borrowed money and you'll need to promise to repay it. Remember to borrow only what you need because a federal student loan is a real loan. Just like with a car or home loan, it's important that you understand what you're agreeing to. Although college, financial aid, and the prospect of an instant noodle diet can be a little overwhelming, You'll be putting yourself on the path to success when you take the time to plan out your options and let the Office of Federal Student Aid help you along the way. If you have questions or need more information, please visit studentaid.gov. Okay. So that was sort of an informational for those who might not be on financial aid or don't know exactly what it is. And Right here we have, from the financial office itself, a chart that lists all of the different types of financial aid that we have. Currently over $100 million from last year was given out in financial aid money. So when you think of $100 million, that's a lot for the students of West Georgia. This is just West Georgia. So you can see about a good 75% of it is student loans whereas the hope is in the red and we have others such as Pell, government grants, subsidies that give students the opportunity of better education. So this is kind of showing you a good uh, makeup of our school and what is being affected by this department. So next I have David Ging and he's going to explain the statement of our company. Hi, uh, I'm going to introduce our company. Um, our company name is Financial Compass. The reason we named our company Financial Compass is that uh, we want to give our clients a direction to uh, direction to solve the problem they have. And we are a consulting firm starting in 1993. And uh, our mission is to provide 
uh, innovative solutions to enable the University of West Georgia to deliver the efficient financial aid. And our job is to look for the problem, work for the problem, and summarize the problem, and give advice to the financial aid department. Our values is uh, elaborate, elaboration, delivery, and trust. Uh, we work as a team, we share the idea, we discuss until everybody is satisfied, uh, satisfied with the results. And uh, we understand the feeling that uh, Eric, uh, the student want to get the financial aid is desperate. And uh, every time we get the up-to-date information, we will uh, show the information to them. And we trust each other. We believe with our efforts, we can get better and better. Next. Is going to talk about the financial, uh, the statement of these. Okay. Financial aid has both internal offices and external. Um, some of the internal offices are department assistance, um, enrollment services, and enrollment student center. Um, the external part of financial aid covers students, parents, state, and federal government. Um, Many more than just students benefit from financial aid. Um, the parents benefit because they don't have to stress about you know getting up money for the students to go to college. The students benefit because they get you know federal work study, they get to work and earn money, earn money while going to school. They get um, um, loans for housing, food, you know cars, extra stuff, you know to get back and forth to school. And also the employers benefit because they're getting people, employees who got, you know, educated and got a college degree. Um, financial aid matters because over 80% of students are receiving some form of financial aid in their college career, but every student is coming in contact with financial aid, whether you realize it or not, you know, even if it's just submitting your FAFSA or your shots record, all that has to go to the financial aid. And now I will turn it over to Margaret. Um, when looking at internal and external communications, um, internally, the main form of communication between staff members is email and Google Chat. Google Chat is an instant message way that they can communicate with one another. And um, with the bursar's office being in a whole other building than the financial aid department, it gets kind of confusing. Students don't actually know where, know where to go exactly when they have a specific question and whatnot. So it causes a bunch of confusion. But luckily, within the next few months, both um, buildings are coming together as one, which will cause a lot less confusion. And um, what we are going to try to do is acquire more students and interns to be able to get jobs at these um, at this building and um, make it, you know, less stressful and make it easier way to contact one another. Um, externally, the main form of communication is also email and our website which is what we want to do is make it more appealing to the student eye and informative with that as well. Um, with the competitive comparison, we um, compare West Georgia to Valdosta State University because both universities are somewhat similar in size. Um, West Georgia, 80% of students are receiving financial aid versus that uh, Austin State University where 90% are receiving financial aid. So um, that just shows that all students are receiving financial aid in some way or another. So now I'm going to pass it to Philip for the presentation. It is greatly recommended. These are many ways that we can recommend make financial aid better. First of all, let's start off by saying, you see this picture here, it says hello. Financial aid can be more welcoming. Say hi, have posters, post it. The school I went to before here was Florida a and University, AMU. I went there, everyone dragged me to the financial aid office. I'm telling you, no one liked it. But I have a question for you guys. Someone can raise their hand, tell me what they think of when they see this logo. What company? Gas station. What gas station? Shell. Shell, right. It has a brand, it has a name. We recommend that the financial aid office come up with a logo, something that people can familiarize themselves with financial aid. Also, we recommend the financial aid have some kind of community outreach, maybe out in, like twice a year out in Love Valley. Out in Love Valley, you have like carnival, 
candy, you know what I mean? Free food, free t-shirts. You know, just to promote to promote the, uh, the organization. Also, to promote our organization, we also recommend to have like a concert, maybe like uh, popular artists, different genres, throw out t-shirts in the crowd, throw out pins, not throw out pins, but have pins at tables, <laughs> have pins at tables, give out brochures, just to promote financial aid. You want to get excited about financial aid. Also, a lot of people might not know this, but the West Georgian is rarely wear at West Georgia. We recommend that we put out an article once a week, twice a week, front page, you know, giving out information on financial aid in bold, bright letters, bright colors. Also, with the website. What about that website, fellow? About the website. <laughs> we recommend, let's put in bold letters, financial aid. Also, preferably with a logo showing that financial aid is here, you know. You can have a link. Most, most, most of the time, everybody's on the internet now. It's probably on Twitter, Instagram. A lot, of students, a lot of students go on the West Georgia website to log into the course center. If they see the logo, they might get curious, click on the logo. Um, now I'm going to pass it over to Matthew. All right. So in conclusion, we learned that there is an internal communication. There is definitely needs that we have found. But part of our uh, organization and within our budget plan, which we uh, did in our proposal, dealt with the hiring of student interns, the cost of hiring a full-time financial aid administrator, which would be about 40000 a year. And interns can be uh, paid for minimum wage usually. They're willing to work uh, with students and their schedules. So these students are able to um, kind of get their resume building skills through working for a financial uh, system. And we also found that there is conferences, um, the NAFSA, which is the National Association of Financial Aid Administrators. And for $4,200, uh, a school system can acquire a booth. So that way, you can not only promote the school system, but you can also look for potential employers or somebody that you might want to hire. So we feel like through our consulting firm and our values and beliefs, that by hiring maybe additional people, updating the website, we also had a web developer, and that would alleviate a lot of the redundancies and problems that we might be facing due to the high volume of how much financial aid goes through. So this is what our group has done, and this is what our consulting firm plans on doing. And we'd like to thank you guys for allowing us to present our proposal to you, and also a special thank you for the financial aid representative. All right, we need to ask some questions for this team. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, any questions? Yeah. <laughs> what risks are involved if we use a recommendation? rate with our firm and everybody that we've touched or dealt with has never failed so we don't think about the risk we just go with the positives thank you very much no there's no questions uh -huh. go ahead okay. yeah awesome um why do you believe your recommendation will increase our student uh financial aid relations why do you think your recommendation will improve relationships between students and the national office? Uh, reason being because students will be more involved. If they see the financial aid, it starts to care more. And students will make care more. Next question. Uh, um, how much time and or effort will be needed to put these recommendations in place? I said it takes some risk of really finding the whole the whole financial aid office needs to the new changes by saying a semester. Okay, tell me how the recommendation of a logo will improve the department's organization. Like I said with the, the Shell logo, 
you know, everything you do, like a lot of people, you want to brand yourself. You want people to be, be more, um, more people to know you, more people to familiarize yourself with you. Like, for example, let's say if I have my Instagram name, something you probably can't make to. I'm making my brand. My Instagram name is Push of Lovers. If I change, if I keep changing my name, you don't see Sony changing their name. The name is Sony, it's gonna stay there. You familiarize, familiarize yourself with the company if you have a logo. Hey Philip, what about a Ford West? Oh yeah, also, they're, they're coming out with a website, Ford West. Yeah. So that'll go hand in hand with the Go West. Yeah. There's now will be a Ford West. All right, well, oh, one more question. Uh, among your recommendations, which point do you think is the most uh, significant or most vital for your uh, organization? All right, one more time. No, 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 no. Go ahead, repeat. Uh, do, uh, among your recommended recommendations, uh -huh. which point do you think is the most vital or most significant? I think the most important. Most vital. I say getting information out there. Let students know. Right. Yeah, no, I would say the website. And so get students more involved and be able to know exactly what financial aid will do for you, you know, and they can do for you. So the website. So everything like focuses around the internet nowadays. Yeah. Electronic. Okay. All right. Thank you.